Yo, what's up guys? Hey, welcome back to the channel. Hey man, if this is the first time here, man, y'all might as well go ahead and subscribe to the channel because you're gonna come back. All I do is give you real insight on the medical field, especially radiology, because I've been a certified x-ray tech slash CT tech uh, slash bachelors, you know, for like the past 13 years. Um, so I know a lot about it. I'm not perfect. I don't know everything, but I know a lot about it to the point that I can give you some insight, some information to make sure that you're picking the right, you know, career or when you're in there, you know, how to work the equipment to the best of your ability. So this is a really good channel to get involved in, you know, if you're a student and, um, you know, subscribe, like, comment. Uh, you have to like it. You have to like the video, man, um, because that shows YouTube like, hey, you know, he's making good content. You know, more people need to hear about this. And it's true because there's not a lot of radiology channels out there me myself i even research stuff and i don't even find things on certain stuff that needs to be taught or needs to be spoken about um so i try my best to make videos on here i try to drop at least once a week so again if you're new welcome thank you subscribe help your boy out like hit the notification bell all that good stuff um so mainly what i, I talk about on this channel is like students you know people that have never been in the field that are interested in the field and uh, this video is on do's and don'ts when you're a, a, a student in the clinical setting. Um, these are super important because this is something you have to understand that is going to be vital. You know, what people, what people, students, what you guys have to understand is that this is a job interview. Basically, 110%. This is a job interview. And yes, even though we need techs in the field, we need all kind of, you know, medical personnel where you're a nurse, a uh, CNA, uh, x-ray tech, uh, physical therapy assistant, it doesn't matter what you're going for. Yes, we're all short, we're all short staffed and we need you guys, but don't get it twisted, man. If you don't bring the right attitude and the right, um, the right, uh, you know, like the, the right wanting, the right vibes to the department, you will not get hired. And that's it. So you have to be aware of what you're doing. Okay. So this is very important. So I think I'm gonna start with the, I'm gonna start with the don'ts first, you know, cause everybody wants to hear the bad news first and then the good news. Right. So the don'ts, right. This. Yeah. Don't be that person that is not eager enough to want to learn. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, text hate and I've, I've, it never fails. You always have that one student in every class, not just one class. Like, oh, we get those students once in a while. No, you always have that one student in every single class that rotates that doesn't have that eagerness that you have to go in there and tell them, hey, man, we got an extra. You want to go? You know what I'm saying? Things like that. Like we as technologists, as certified techs already, we basically already made it. You know, we're already we're already getting paid. We're getting overtime. We get money. We get benefits. And, you know, not that saying that the student don't come from money they might have more money than the tech you know who knows what kind of family they come from but that's besides the point if you are a student and you're there to learn take full advantage of it we don't want to hit, sit here and be like oh hey man we got an x-ray oh you hear the you hear the printer printing a requisition and you're just like mm, whatever like no you have to show that eagerness to want to go learn and want to be in, in in the moment you know live for the moment live to to get better you know so you have to be that student um, and you also had to get a, you had to understand this. Yes. Different personalities. You're going to have different texts that teach different. Somebody's going to teach you something different, how to do a chest. Somebody's going to do different, how to do a, um, uh, L spine. Every, every tech has their own thing. Right. And that's the cool thing about being a, a student is that you're not, you're not a tech yet. Right. So you could kind of pick a little bit of everybody that you're learning from and then become your own tech. Okay, well, I don't like the way she or he did this, but I like the way he or she did this. So I'm gonna take this one and a little bit of this and, and eventually you're gonna mold into your own technologies when you get done and you know you become certified and stuff. Um, but you can't let different personalities get to you, especially if you're a student. You have to have thick skin because they're gonna try you, especially if you're a student, they're gonna try you and not that not bullying or nothing like that, but some like for instance you know like if you do a chest x-ray and we already did a couple right and you know me and myself i'm not that kind of tech you know i just like to be nice i like to help people right that's just my personality so be like no remember you got to do this you got to angle or don't angle so much type thing right 
then you have another take that's a little bit more strong like not strong minded but just strong like a strong personality and then be like hey man didn't i already tell you not to do that you know what i'm saying like it's the way they say it but sometimes you need that kind of um that kind of criticism because when people are always nice like myself you really won't it won't stick because it's like all right you know he's not gonna get mad but when you when you hear it from somebody that's more like you know mean and not mean but more like you know strong-headed i guess you're gonna be like oh you know now i remember because you know you know i, I got yelled at basically it's okay it's okay to to be you know yelled at once in a while that's how sometimes it's gonna stick so don't ever take anything personal it's never personal it's all about you te teaching you and you becoming a good a good tech you know um oh we definitely definitely hate when you say this okay yes when you go you, you already comp the chest right you already comp it whatever the case may be right so if you're radiology school you understand what a comp means the last thing we as technologists want to hear is oh i already comp that i don't need that anymore yes you do you do need it because you're not certified yet you're not certified you everything that comes to that printer everything that prints you have to go jump on it you have to make the effort to be better you have to show that initiative to become a good tech to want to be better because every portable you go to is always different always whether it's remembering to take the for chest x-rays 99 percent x-ray in radiology is chest x-rays right Remembering to take the necklace off, remembering that if there's a monitor there, take it out to take an x-ray, you know, things like that. So every time you go do a chest x-ray, even though it's like, oh, it's a chest x-ray, I've already done plenty of them, there's always something to learn. So don't be that 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 student that's like, oh, I've already done that, I don't need it. Yes, you do. We hate that, just so you know. Okay, so that was the don'ts, right? Don't, don't be that person, don't be that student, okay? And you don't want to be that student because we'll correct you real quick and, you know, you don't want to... You know, you just don't want that side of our, of us as being techs, right? Now, the do's, this is what you should do. This. Super, super, super important. Always be early. You know, if you have to be there at... I know sometimes school has policies that all you can... Because now, schools make you clock in on their phone. And you got to get a computer and clock in because it's kind of like a job, right? So, they the school wants to know that you got there on time, too. Uh, which is understandable. But if you have to be there at 9... Try to be there at 850, you know, that way you can kind of be consistent and be like, okay, well, she's going to be or he's going to be a tech that is going to be on time. We're not, we're not going to be like, hey, man, where you at? Oh, remember he was a student, man. He was always two, three minutes late. You know, you, you don't want to be that, that, that person. You don't want to be that technologist because you're, you, you know, you as a tech, the, your, your fellow techs count on you. You know, the overnight, if you're the morning tech and the overnight techs had a hard night and they're waiting for you to go so they can kind of be like, okay, I can go home and relax. If you're 5, 10, 15 minutes late, they're going to get mad. If you're two minutes late, they're going to get mad. So they're always going to talk bad about you. You know what I'm saying? Not because you're a bad person, but you're late. You know, they had a hard time. They want to go home. You know, so you want to be the person and be like, oh, I know he's going to be here because he's going to be on time. And if you're late, they know it's not on purpose. You know what I'm saying? And you can be like, hey, man, traffic was horrible. I apologize. You know, I'm not trying to do this to you, you know? So always be always be early because they say if you're if you're on time you're late okay so number two is this just like i said before be that be that student that's eager to learn as soon as something prints out be like hey i want to go or hey I, I know i'm not in a rotation to do or yet but if you have an or case i want to go see i just want to go look at it so I, you know i'm kind of intrigued with the or oh i can't do floral cases yet but it's okay i want to see i want to see what's going on you know so be that be that student that's eager to learn you know um techs love that managers love that leads see that you know everybody sees what kind of tech you're going to be in the future you know so you know even though there's even though there's a, a lot of people hurting for techs they're going to be like you know what let the other hospital have them because we were kind of we already knew what, how they were as a student you know, so be that tech that wants and, and or that student that's eager to learn. Even a tech. If you're a tech and you don't know a lot, man, go out there and, and, and work on the things that, that you're not good at. You know, um, everybody hates the OR. I, at one point, hated the OR because I wasn't good at it. You know, I didn't have enough practice. And not that I'm the best now, but I can handle my own. You know what I'm saying? Now that, like, that I'm the only one that goes basically to the OR. Be like, I know as soon as I clock in, I'm like, I already know. Let me go change my scrubs. Let me go to the OR. Let me get OR ready. You know what I'm saying? Because they send me all the time, which is cool because 
now you know you know what i can handle the or i can do it you know what i'm saying so work on things that you're not good at you know so the next one is because i had to write things down too you know um Uh, so the thing is, uh, so I had this incident the other day too, right? About, you know, a student that, like I said, you have a strong headed, you know, a strong headed person as far as the tech and then, you know, a nicer one, as you say, like that teaches you different. Don't ever, ever say, I'm not going to go work with him or I'm not going to go with you to your, to a tech space. Um, you know, so basically I want you to be respectful because at the end of the day, a person that has the RT behind their name earned that. They earned that right. You know, they worked hard. They studied, you know, even though they're, you know, whatever the case may be as they are as a person, you can't ever sit there and try to degrade somebody that already has something that you're trying to get, you know. So always be respect respectful. Don't ever talk down on any tech ever, especially if you're a student, because we'll, we'll kick you out real quick, real quick, you know, and... And us, they're not, we're, and we're not gonna get in trouble because it's like, look, it's our license on the line and we don't feel comfortable with this student because they're being disrespectful or they're not being careful enough or whatever the case may be, you gotta go, you know, because we're not gonna put our hard work on the line for a student that don't care, you know? So always, always be respectful, all right? So anyway, guys, this is something that for the new students that start in clinicals, very, very important, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. I hope you pick something from this and uh, be that student that wants to learn and get better every day. You already know, guys, I got y'all, so stay tuned.